Welcome guys to the Pebbles Infinity Podcast and today we are going to be battling once again hopefully with a coherent Pablo sir <laughs> any words of your behavior of the last uh, two podcasts that were released prior to this day <laughs> I'd like to take this moment to formally apologize. I am not a crook. <laughs> 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 Oopsie. <laughs> Your Honor, she said she was 18. <laughs> oh, God. No. If the glass does not fit, he does not a crook. <laughs> 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 so I'm in BJ. Uh, some fun Someone times. take him up like Jeff. There's <laughs> <laughs> a window um, right there. <laughs> oh, damn, from the window. <laughs> Um, well, JFK was in the car. Yeah, but he's in the back, you know, right here. Window. Exactly. Oh, Abe Lincoln would be better. Oh, okay. You know, Emilio. You got a <laughs> oh, shit. Emilio's in the back. It was, it was planned. It was planned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun times became funner and then not so fun. So. <laughs> and now I don't remember. <laughs> but this video of it. <laughs> the good thing is that I don't remember. But cyber will. <laughs> the cyber world will. So if you ever see him in real life, hold him accountable, guys. Anyways, besides Paulo, we are joined by Mark Hoselias in the background just existing as Emilio from the last two episodes. <laughs> and today we are going to be battling over what I deemed as life choices. Meaning, do you prefer to go or dine in? Morning bird or night owl? Travel versus staying at home? Procrastination versus procrastination, which we have deemed doing stuff early. Yeah. yeah. Like as soon as you get the task, you do, do it. it as soon as you possibly can to then not have to do anything later. And then in store versus online shopping. First up, it is to go me and Mark versus dine in Pablo and Joselias. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. What, what is your defense for dine in? Hey, the food is always hotter. You don't have to it, worry about. Depends on how far you are at home. If it's like a local store, 10 minutes ain't gonna fucking hurt it. Well, it does. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, unless you're doing Uber Eats when it sits in the counter and then it sits in the car and then it gets to you, that sucks. Because that's yeah. at least 20 to 30 minutes of waiting. But if you go to the restaurant, pick it up yourself, and then take it home, it's not bad. It's still warm as shit. Eh. Well, no, no, no. Well, I'll say this. I'll definitely say this. You go if you're dining, you're still technically waiting for the food. Sometimes it'll even sit on the on the fucking warming light. You get me? At the at very most, that's what will happen. But when you go to go, that will still possibly happen, and then still get it bagged and everything. And all that they're not the the transfer usually like I don't know the just 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 the, like I said, the temperature will go down no matter what because it's mm -hmm. not under heat source for a longer period of time. So no matter what, even that will fluctuate. Like also, when you get it to go, bro. You guys don't put the heater in your car to keep the. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Mr. Rich Man with the heater in his car. Oh, he's that got works. <laughs> he doesn't pay us. Some of us, <laughs> some of us can't roll our windows down. Um, also, it has been in a car when I placed the heater in the middle of summer. God damn, you're in the middle of summer. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. He's just a special case. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> another time, another time. Also, a big thing for me is that if the item's supposed to be crispy and you get it to go, it'll get a sort of sog to it. What do you mean crispy? Like for a bad example, but because I think wontongs actually hold pretty good. But like crispy wontongs. What the fuck is wonton? Yeah, what is that? Um, you mean like a crab ragoon? That one what too. That's a good example. That's a good example of one. <laughs> these are just words. <laughs> I swear to we're not no, making no, them no, up. No, but these are you just know, like words. You know, when you're at the Chinese sure. food place, okay, and they have like the egg rolls. Yes, mm. and then sometimes they have it like kind of like a squared one with like a like a high rise high rise edges. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm tight in it. No, can't say. No? Can. <sighs> How can I describe it then, bro? Okay, um, I'll think of another example. Like a okay. crunchy dumpling. Okay, okay. Yes, Kinda. a okay. fried dumpling. Yeah, like okay. a fried dumpling, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, oh, okay, okay, I know. Have you ever gone to a sit-down Chinese restaurant and they serve these little crispy things with the red sauce? No. I think I've only gone there once. Like, you see, I, I normally get it the two ghosts. So I can me. take it to my house. Yeah. See, mm. Okay, well. Good point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Then I, it's hard to describe. Uh, I can't think of another crisp. Oh, you know what? French fries. Let's say French fries. Okay. And they put in a, those plastic containers. And you know how it gets all humid in there and then uh -huh. they get soggy? That ruins experience for me. When let's say 
Okay, I they got were thin you know, fries, horseshoe fries. You know, you know something but crazy. To be fair, I would rarely get like that. Normally comes with like a chili cheese fries, and I never get chili cheese fries like that. Like yeah. to get in an octane or like that. But I now understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's I don't, coherent. I don't know why. Usually to go, I usually like to go to go, just because you know you can go anywhere you want. Besides that, I mean, you can go to the park. You need in your car. You know, besides nice just going at picnic home. at the beach. I know Honestly, love those. And that's always great. I mean, looking at a view about eating your food to go is great. Okay, but, but aside sh- from that, also before, <laughs> <laughs> before, um, I actually don't mind my food getting a little cold. For some reason, whenever it's a little bit more hotter, it gets my stomach to hurt. So for me, if it gets a little cold, I don't mind it. And soggy fries, I enjoy soggy fries. So for me to go is probably the best. Soggy thing fries to go for. From, from a saggy man. Would you agree with me that what you want to go ahead and do is get the or, the food how you ordered it, like it like get crispy stuff crispy and like not have to develop a soggy. I don't know gene. how far you're going or what you're doing that's taking you so long it to ruin the it experience. Or, believe it or not, bro, if it's in there for like an extra five minutes, enclosed in the in its own steam and all that. Crispiness will lose, will 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 get lost, and I'm a texture guy. Who isn't reali- realistically? Oh, then well, all the more reason, right? And then on top of that, if you're dine in, everything's taken care of. I kind of want to do a counter uh, argument with you because you can go to a nice place with a nice view, eat, and then enjoy the area, but more than and likely, not worry about anything. Like, and more likely be expensive. And chances are, you probably might see kids around, and they might be ruining the experience too. At a dining, or oh, that's <laughs> not a good argument because if you uh-huh. have kids at home, yeah, hey, you're you're, you're I ruining it too. Not, yeah, eh. I don't have. Look kids, at him so with three kids. <laughs> he's gonna ruin everything. <laughs> you see that? You think Olive Garden was peaceful for him <laughs> yesterday? Was it peaceful? Was it peaceful? <laughs> peaceful for you? Laundry was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's my biggest argument. I would say the quality of the food goes down. Obviously, that inc- incorporates texture and and uh, and um, temperature, and then on top of that, you get the whole service with it. I do like the service. This, uh, service is overrated, get- in my opinion, because for them to do simple tasks, not be paid good, and expect a tip out of that, it is oh, insane. For me. Yeah. It's oh, annoying. Wait, wait, wait. I could do everything they do, no problem by myself. Facts. Without an issue at home or wherever I'm going. Wrong. Ready? Refills. Actually, at dining, you can get certain refills. For instance, you know my little trick, my fat ass trick at Olive Garden. Mm-hmm. I order pasta, soup, and all that, right? But what I do is I just keep ordering soup, and I take the pasta to go, and that's lunch and or dinner uh, for the, for going down the line of that day. That is the one exception. But if you go to McDonald's or anywhere, you don't get no. unlimited refills. No, 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 no. That's the thing. You're talking about fast foods. And fast foods restaurants, right. those have drive through for a reason because they're meant to be able to go and be taken to go at a, to a certain extent, mm-hmm. yes. right? To a certain extent. But when you have a restaurant... You're going to go ahead and enjoy that dining experience and the dining quality food. You get me? Just because I'm voting to go doesn't mean I won't enjoy every now and then an experience like an Olive Garden to eat there. But a majority of the times, anything that I'm buying from the outside, I'd rather just be at home comfortably watching TV. I mean, I get you could use your phone, but there's but so it many seems more conveniences. Conven- more conveniences, okay. You went somewhere. You have to wait to be seated. You have to wait. To okay, keep going. Barely keep going, keep going. away. Yeah, exactly. Barely away. Have you ever gone out on a weekend? But, but okay. Wait, wait, wait. Depending <laughs> on how large your party is, obviously, if it's you by yourself, they'll seat you out quick. Yeah. But if you yeah. have a party of fucking five, like Pablo, good luck getting that seat. You gotta wait at least twenty plus minutes on average. I'll see that, but I'll counter you traffic. What's wrong with traffic? Yeah, what's wrong with traffic? You, that you, you have to deal with traffic on the way going and coming back while your food is sitting. Well, again, I mean, you're, like I said, you can eat it in your car. On that, that actually, I've had many instances. Yeah, many I'm, dates with Lourdes prior to owning a house where we ate in the car. Just because oh, we had during COVID. Yeah, we'd either go to the park or just eat in our cars. Yeah, it was I perfectly like fine. Her. It's yeah. like, oh, there's oh. traffic. Cool. Sure. I'll just reach in there and just start eating. Fuck so it. that's always okay. awesome. Like, okay, let me get a little like, uh, yeah, I got my way home. Rocket. That's, so that's well, a treat. That like Bert Kreischer would say, it's a treat. 
It's a good treat. You gotta admit it is. You gotta admit it is. Like, you gotta yeah, admit yeah, it is. Yeah, it's always a good treat. Like, it's, okay, yeah. man, but I'm here. Top, like, that I'm not. I'm not negating any of that. Oh, but really? does it top being able to go ahead and being literally getting fries from them, looking at them, feeling them, saying, "Hey, these are cold fries," and them not being able to do anything but make you fresh fucking fries? No, it does not. You know something funny? You, me, you I can enjoy cold so fries. Control. Huh? I, I, I enjoy the fries. You. I mean, that's, that's why that, that, that is a I preference. I would say that's a very minimum. I've a part of the audience. I've never had it. Which side with you? Oh, I mean, what a statement there. Well, I said it's Honestly, possible. I feel that, like people uh, are more than likely. I feel like people are usually just dicks fries. about it. Just because they paid a certain thing, they're like, it ha- they expect to be all fresh. 100%. Honestly, for me, it I, just, I don't mind it. Like I said, to me, it doesn't really matter because I prefer cold food sometimes. Um, I mean. I eat my double cheeseburgers cold. I usually tend to wait for it to get cold. That's weird. It like, is weird. I, I can't justify those comments. <laughs> no, no, it's really weird. Like a lot of people say, it's weird. Like anything, any like lasagna. Anything, I get, I get it cooled down, what? but not cold. Yeah, I let it to get cooled down. Well, when it comes to pasta, <clears throat> you can you can make an argument for it, right? Because I, I I get what you mean. Like cold pizza is not that's the not worst. pasta. Yeah, that's not. Pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I meant. Uh, no, yeah, cold, sp- cold spaghetti can be rough. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I, was be like, I was like, warm or cold? I mean, I've had it cold. It's not that bad. But I want to say, like, you're. Uh, it's nothing too unheard of. But I don't think there's going to be a, a majority of people would agree with they prefer their foods cold. Certain foods I get because they're meant to be cold. But when a food, I, I want to eat it how it's meant to be. You get me? I want to, if I order my food and it's supposed to be a cold dish and a hot plate, I want that shit good. I don't want a cold dish getting warm and I don't want a hot dish getting cold. You lose quality, you lose flavor, and on top of that, bro, you get what you pay for. Oh, How far right. are you going to eat and bring back home? Okay, uh, because literally everything in this place, it's hard and around is like less than five minutes. Using you as an example, right? Yeah. It, I can see what you mean by that because that's you why don't I'm like travel I far. never exactly. I don't have it, but you're issue. mainly talking about Jack in the Box, McDonald's, fucking Del Taco, Taco Bell, all those items that honestly. They're meant to be eaten on a fast thing. But when you're talking about enjoying it, like, are you going to tell me you would prefer a steak at home? I don't know. To go steak over, over <laughs> don't a diamond? Bring, don't bring up the steak. First of all, I, I already had this fucking. conversation. So, don't bring oh, up I the proved on you tenfold. <laughs> do not even bring up the steak. Sorry. So I literally had this conversation with Mark, and I think I've had it with Emilio in the back, so they could back me up. I can no longer enjoy Outback. I know it's going to be stroking my dick hard, no, 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 but because I, yeah, I've... I enjoy my steaks tenfold better. I agree. Than whatever they. But you serve cook them at home. Yeah, so I cook it at home. So I'm already at but home, excluding then a steak. Would you prefer a cut a cut of meat cooked and prepared for you, straight to you, or delivered and weighted and then reduced temperature? So, like I said previously, just because I'm saying to go, it doesn't mean I don't enjoy a dining experience every now and again. Correct. For me, that's a special occasion, a birthday, an anniversary. It's not going to be, I feel like going out to get this steak or whatever. Mm-hmm. Let me dine in. It's not every month even that I'm getting Olive Garden. Mm-hmm. For example, I haven't had Olive Garden since, what, January? That's when we went, yes. Exactly. So, it's like it's not like a need that I'm like, oh, I need to dine in. It's like, mm-hmm. eh. When the need gets there, like, okay, I'll, I it's been a while. Let me go get it. But then as you do that, you go ahead and bring whatever you typically have to deal with. Cleanup, disposal. To go you know is me? naturally its own, like, thing. They give you the color, col, col, cutlery. cutlery. Thank you. Cutlery. There we go, yeah. And they'll give you something Thank to dispose you. the food right after. They'll even give it the same thing to warm something up sometimes. That's like an. Yeah, like an Olive Garden, they'll give you that thing to already no, for the up. bread. Yeah, mm-hmm. I exactly. get what you mean, but but because that's in reckon. I, I mean, I get that. No, I'm not disputing that. Mm-hmm. But the dining, com- the dining is far more convenient because you have less things to deal with. You, it's a one. It's like you're you're going there for what you're supposed to do. The only eat and enjoy. The only less thing it's is essentially the trash. That's the only thing it's giving me extra. Oh, to but, take it home. But then dining gives you typically extra too like if you notice they'll do portions differently if you're eating in or 100 oh, of course of course so then i'm basically getting more food than you i would say i would i would try to make an argument De- for that depends on the re- you're you when you're sinking dining i yeah, your mind goes to 
restaurant, like a full-on okay, fancy restaurant. And yeah. my, to it, my to-go is just straight up fast and, food. And I was going to say... And we're contradicting we each other in that both, way. Well, we're not because in the sense of there's a lot of factors that come into play and I that's what it is. Correct. We're referring to different things and all of them have... Correct. But I would say as an overall, as an overall experience, I will enjoy dining far better. Even at a McDonald's, I'd rather sit down, eat a McDonald's just then and there. Why? Because I, personally speaking, I used to get around a lot by walking. So mm-hmm. I would go ahead, I would walk there like, oh, yeah, let me stop by there to eat. I wouldn't want to go ahead and walk and eat and all that. No, I'd rather sit down, eat, munch, and leave. You get me? I used to walk and eat. Yeah. It's, it's doesn't not- mean it was a comfortable experience all the time. Actually, it was. I mean... I would say that, that there's a few that's not that that's in the few majority. You get me? To be fair, our points of views are towards food a little bit different. Me, I'm just like, I'm hungry. Let me put something in my mouth. To you, it's an experience. You're mm-hmm. almost a foodie without taking the pictures. Yeah. See, on a post. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So you are I would consider you a foodie, obviously minus the pictures. And I'm just like, I need to eat, blah, blah, blah. But to me, the more convenient thing, the more comfortable thing is being in the comfort of my home. Not worrying about, okay, now I got to go. Now I got to do this. Enjoying the privacy of enjoying your food. I don't got to worry about the guy next boost next to me is playing his phone loud or the people next couple is arguing, making then, a scene. But then I would say or someone that means that you're more than like shit. <laughs> Despite the someone's way pointing eating. a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I, I, I get what you mean, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I wouldn't call it. I, I would go far as to say that it's not more convenient because there's mm. I would say I would even argue that there's more expenses because you're wasting more on gas. The same. Are you living at the restaurant? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Do you yeah. not have to come back eventually? Yeah, no. Yeah, that's why I, 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 I get that. Yeah, I get, but I would say that there's there's that there's that double trip that you're going. There's a longer period of time of not getting your food. Well, I would wait half. If the time, you were to say. get an airplane ticket to a restaurant, it's still called round trip fool. <laughs> Unless you're staying in the state, <laughs> it's still a round trip. Even if you move it two days later, it's still called a round trip. I get that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like, like I said, I would argue that that would that you're not. Oh, another unknown factor: traffic, bro. You can hit nasty ass traffic anywhere if, you go on the way back. If you're coming from home to the restaurant, you kind of have an idea. You could see the other side. If you take the same path. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know. <laughs> Help me out here, buddy. <laughs> Help me out here, bro. Help me out. I th- I feel like I brought up most points that I feel like I can argue. Yeah. Like it, it is just a difference of of point of views. Yeah, of course. Like I have fond memories of when I like like Sunday mornings going to breakfast, eating there. So it's more of that sensation of like, yeah, let's go out to eat as a family. A change of environment. Yeah, because you, know I mean? you escape if, your reality. Yeah, because usually we'll we're just staying here at home. We're mm-hmm. not doing anything. So we'll go out to eat. From there, like, oh, we have this park nearby. Let's walk around the park. Or we have other errands to do. So it's not just about going to get food. It's the stuff we do after or before. I see that, too. Okay. That's that's a total fair argument. To me, it was always like, just eat. Yeah. I would eat in silence. I would eat with the TV. So to me, the at home is more comfortable. It's... You know what? You brought up a good point too, man. Like, and I'm pretty. I'm. I don't know if I'm saying what you said exactly in different words, but it's uh, the whole thing of like sometimes when you're out and about, busy running errands. You get me? You can be like, oh, you know what? Let's just stop by for dinner there. Yeah. You get me? So we, I can get off the road for a bit. You get me? It depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's. But like, then I would bring up like Mark. I'd eat in the car sometimes too. And like I'll just take it, la la la, mm-hmm. and I'll go to my next destination. But do you prefer eating in the car then? Then I don't, I don't cause, cause hate don't, it. I don't, I don't hate it. No, but I'm saying prefer. We're saying what you prefer. Because then I would argue, yeah, like, don't again, like that's if not even a point. Again, it's like, if it's Olive Garden, obviously, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm going to enjoy sit down. But if it's fucking McDonald's, like, yeah, fucking let me just go. Yeah. I remember, just, like, every yeah. time I'd go, like, over to, like, Modesto, like, usually oh, almost God. every summer, we would always just get food and we wouldn't even stop. We'll just stop to go and we'll just eat in the car. Well, my dad's still driving. That's yeah. like always the to go thing. Even to then, do. for us, when we go to Vegas, we'll stop by like a McDonald's or something, and even then, we'll get off the car, eat inside the McDonald's. Like, ah, uh, it's it's yeah, so stretch our legs. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. weird how everybody works, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, 
life experiences. Yeah, I guess for us, it's like we just don't like losing time, and we're like we want to get to the destination. It's not even about kinda, yeah, because no. you just the more you get there, like the more you get to relax. But I would argue that at the same time works against you with the whole like if eating, there's like, traffic, if okay, yeah, with the whole eating, yeah, like you can't. I mean, I personally never see you eat and drive. Would you say you do that? I have, yeah. I guess it's also like the state of mind, like. I don't want to be doing more than one thing. Like yeah. I just want to eat. Like I don't want to go and like eat that, and that, something that's else. That's exactly why I said you have that foodie mentality. Mine is just let me gobble this shit up as quickly as I can. Cork it. Yeah, exactly. I do cork it. I don't yeah. even deny it. Like you over here, like savoring it. I'm like, no, no, you're still eating. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. So let us know in the comments down below whether you prefer to go or dine in. Next up, we have Jose Elias and myself fighting for Morning, morning Bird. Morning, morning Bird. Morning Wood. Morning, morning, morning Bird. Morning. Oh, or, morning. or Night Owl between Mark and Pablo. Who? Uh, waking up early is just That's a, drag. a lot better. It is a little bit of a drag. I feel like it's but easier. once you, you get a moving, you're a grooving. What you I, say? I, I get that. Once I you get, get a moving, <laughs> you, you get, get a groove. <laughs> what is this? The fucking eighties? <laughs> <laughs> <The exciting. laughs> I, I want to argue that getting up early is harder than staying awake later. No, staying awake is a lot harder no. because Start, uh, uh, usually if you're staying up late, uh, in car, it, it, that's exactly what I'm gonna say. It because when you're staying out late and you're forcing yourself to be up, it's more of a risk. Then if you're waking up, then you're like, well, fuck. Well, I have no choice. Uh, but I mean, I get what you mean because of the whole staying out late, right? But mm -hmm. then it also depends on how early you wake up. Because you're waking up at 2 or 3. I would say you could wake up nighttime. even like 7 a.m. is still early. That's really fucking late in my opinion. <laughs> no, what? That's late to you? Yeah, well, well obviously. You pretty be. early. Yeah. 7? Yeah. Yeah, you once you start seven? reaching nine, that's when it's like, all yeah. right, it's a little bit later. Come seven o'clock, they start opening up parks. Yeah. 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 That's great. For me, uh, For me, that's late, man. Because you're the night owl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well when I used to work uh, at this one place, I would have to get up like at four, 4.30. Mm, we used to wake, or he still does, but I used to wake up at 3.30 to go and I work at four. Hell, my first job came where I used to wake up at 4.30 to go in at 5. So it's like the morning lifestyle just caught up to me. And in the same way, and the it night just, it, it, caught up to me. And it just feels like more relieving. Like, for example, when you work so early, to be off so early and just have the rest of the day doing whatever you want. Then I'll say this. Without the pressure of, for example, when you go to work, you have to keep in mind the entire time. I have to be home by this time so I could go to work. I have to do this so quickly because I have to do this and go to work. Like, there's pressures to that. I mean, because of work, not because of life. Because then I can go and argue that you can do more fun stuff being a night owl than being a morning bird. Like there's nothing open at night. What are you what are, what are you, I don't see you as a club person. I don't yeah. see you as a bar person. So what nightlife do you, fun do you have? Uh, late night sessions of D&D, &D, gaming up all night, watching movies. I mean, it's like once in a while. I don't know. I don't know. With you guys, yeah. But then, what about movies? What you about could playing games? Watch them early too. Yeah. But you're well, gonna want to watch them early in the morning or late Pablo, at night. Technically, technically, think of think about where we're crossing roads. When I used to wake up to the gym, I'd go to the gym. You were still up, and we'd meet up at this house to play Super Smash Brother. We're playing early, and you're playing late. It's it's a mesh right there. That no, was a I, mesh. I get that. I get that. But so yes, you could wake up early and play games. I, I honestly feel like either or. It's just the same time frame. It's just we all tend to enjoy a certain. What do you say? Like, it's like uh, there's a person who likes the light more than the dark. You know what I mean. So anything oh, you like the light, Fosto? Oh God! <laughs> Tell, say it out loud that you like the light. It's like say me it. as a night owl. I'm not very fond of being out in the sun too often. I'm more of a person who's like, oh, it's dark out. You know what? I guess I can be out a little bit more. You know, I can do this. I can do that because I'm not very fond with being at the sun. I don't like being getting burned in the sun. With having a like mom that's on top of you, being out late is a lot viewed negatively yeah mm -hmm. than being out early but usually it's, you're it's, coming home early 
if you're if you've been out doing some stuff. Yeah, but that doesn't work. Nah, it's just so, so you're so, lying. You're gonna cover that no, with no, the no, ice. So, that doesn't work. So what nah. I'm saying. So what I'm saying is like, if I were to leave my house at six a.m., there wouldn't be a panic. But if I'm not home by nine p.m., there is a panic because the later it gets. The, the more, more work. danger. Yeah, yeah well, exactly. It, well, it really just depends on what is the plans also. Like, what are you going to do? Why are you staying out so late? Okay, cool. This is what I'm doing. Oh, okay, it makes sense. Uh-huh. If there's something where you don't explain what you're doing, and then you're just like, oh, no, all right, then there is a panic. There's you know? explanations. Same brother. thing with the morning. I mean, you didn't show up in the morning. Still another panic. But the, if you didn't show up <laughs> in the morning, that's... A night owl activity. Or yeah. argue there's no, less but traffic in the night. No, but no, no. Night, morning night bird owl. is waking up early. Yeah, yeah night that's, owl that's, is that's like saying, oh, it's past 12 o'clock. It's considered morning already, technically. It's not any more no of a night owl. I'm trying to bring You're up. talking okay. to Mr. Technicality here. <laughs> well, then. No fucking shit. <laughs> okay, the early bird difference. would be like the crack of dawn. Which is six, seven. Yeah. So like around that time would be the start of the early bird. Yeah. Well, the start of the night owl would be the crack of dusk. Yeah, or the area, the fall yeah. of dusk? whichever is. I guess. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, I think dusk for sure is in the night. Yeah. I know that. You, um, in the dark of the oh, night. Oh, now I'm doubting myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then I would say that. Oh no! You see, this is this is the hard part about these subjects because it's they're like, meshing. Because I was going to say uh, that's when I'm most productive in the night. Everyone's too. sleeping. Everyone usually sleeping, so then I can go out and get things going. Blah, 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 blah. But and then the argument so the with pressure. the morning bird because there's like in the gym, for example, yeah. whether it be super late at night or super early in the day, there's a huge overall gap between both of these. There's no denying that. I think I think I we're really got. I think true. what we're really focusing. Well, I think we should focus on is that whether you find more benefit. Waking at 12 up early o'clock? Or, no, no, no. At oh. 12, find more benefit or more production per production being able to be done either at 12 o'clock or at 12 eight. o'clock. No, but the hard thing for you. Yeah. I, would that be equivalent to yeah, that? Like midnight or midday? Because you would, w- would you say that no, nighttime is, starts? Oh, everyone's up night. already and everything. Oh. Nighttime starts at what time? No, because it's 12 p.m. Midday is 12 p.m. That's technically mm-hmm. night. Because 12 no, a.m. No. is the nighttime morning. Nighttime is once the sun goes down. Yeah. So depending on the time of year. Right now it should be around six. six. So what's the peak? So the peak hour of yeah. So the, uh, that's around six. So then you would say the night starts at six. Once the sun fully goes down to so like six seven. So seven would be a f- better start for right yeah, now. Yeah, once for this it's time. pure darkness, then that's when it is night. So like around seven p.m. So rather here in the morning, morning starts as soon as there's light in the darkness. So six. So it would yeah. be initially six. six. Okay, okay. Again, depending time of year and if when we do the clock yeah. change. So yeah. then I would go ahead and argue. There's okay, definitely less out. traffic in, in uh, being a night owl. You will definitely deal with less traffic. Depending. Depending on, yeah, there's places where there's always traffic. Oh, yeah, like LAX, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's those are, are exceptions <laughs> of the thing, you know? running traffic. I would argue 6 p.m., the start time, is when it's heaviest. No, you said the nine. start time is about seven. That's so heavy. That's so heavy. As heavy it, as like your three, your four o'clock, it, and your it goes o'clock to like traffic. nine. As a previous Lyft driver, being in LAX around that time frame, LAX, LAX. It's, that's but even LA worst. in general, what it's a the nightmare. Worst. Pays good though. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, I've had a situation. Night, you're saying what? Well, you're saying that night traffic is worse in LAX. No, no, no. In general, not in LAX. Exclude you, LAX, please, because we, we can agree that traffic is going to be traffic. Well, are we, I mean, are we going to say like, sorry, uh, beginning of day, which is six, versus traffic at time of seven? Yeah, we're meshing there. Yeah, it's too much of a mess. You're not surprised. The thing is between two a.m. and six a.m. That's like the least traffic. Because I feel like heavy traffic happens between two 10. and five. Because I've seen no, because six o'clock. If I'm on the road at six, I'm like, fuck, I'm dealing with traffic. Nah, so for it's me, the end of five, right? For some reason, I, uh, traffic doesn't really hit until I think nine, eight, or nine. Yeah, again, by the ninety one. Uh, no, not the ninety one. It's the other one that goes down to like Belmont or Long Beach. Seven ten. I, I think it's seven ten. Yeah, um, that gets crazy at that time. I know because those are the freeways I take. Well, because mm-hmm. of the seven ten four or five, and well, because of the Long Beach it all schools de- there. Like traffic really depends where you're at. 
mm-hmm. and where you're going. Not necessarily when. Because honestly, when, when I go in the morning, part, but where is more? And, and that's what I'm saying. And, and I have a feeling that that time frame benefits us or favors us, the night owls. Yeah, I can honestly tell you, like every time, like today, I went into work at seven thirty. I got there at seven o'clock. No traffic at all. So honestly, it was, are you on my side? Because I feel like you're making a point for the morning, or unless unless you think that. No, I'm just saying no because you're asking traffic. Yeah, you're, I'm just saying there's yeah. traffic. There's no traffic at that time frame. Same thing at night. If you're coming from downtown LA over here, there's no traffic. Literally, like around nine or ten at night. I would at agree. All. The whole direction and location. Yes, one hundred percent. It takes in consideration. Because how many times would you be on? What about streets? One side, streets, streets, streets. Streets don't matter that much. Streets. If you're in LA in Southgate, oh fuck. Yeah, the streets the are bad again. Depends where you're on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, it really is depending. Then what point would you make for the benefit of a night owl? Of a night owl? I mean, there's a few different things you can do that you can't do in the morning. I mean, of course, you can go to bars. I mean, another thing Drinking. you can also do yeah, is... Nightlife is most of not our interest, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, because we would go see movies at night, not in the morning. And most of our I stuff that we do... I see movies in the morning. And most not with Faso, I go to matinee times. I mean, most of the D and D sesh also. I mean, usually is what yeah. at night. Usually, we tend to do things more at night sessions times. too. Mm-hmm. Correct, mm-hmm. but that's when everyone's off work. That's yeah. usually why. Yeah, we but do that's that. usually what at night. And if everyone was no, off work in the morning, you'd be in the morning. Yeah, I'm usually never here in the morning. Yeah, he's yeah. asleep. I'm pretty sure you can't <laughs> pick it up on the microphone, so just ignore it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, so let us know down in the comments below whether you prefer <laughs> Morning Bird or Night Owl. <laughs> Next up, we have traveling between Mark and Hoselius and staying at home between me and Pablo. It's interesting that you, now you're staying at home versus... <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> I, you go. I, I thought about that, funny enough. Okay, okay. So, I, I'm, I'm mainly choosing staying at home because one that is in my budget, right? I can, oh, it, It's 100%. easier, so I, it's hard for me to be able to travel because... I even want to say I, I could argue that if it wasn't for all those foods that you'd be dining in. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I know the majority of the money goes there. So, yeah, um, I, I want to go and argue for staying home because not only do am I more than likely going to be able to make that happen, but staying at home, I feel like would imply I feel like it would imply staying within your city, too. Like, like, because that's still home per se. Because travel, I'm not gonna. You're, we can't cobble travel from one side to the city to the other. Travel, really. I feel like it has to be pa- within city minimum city limits. Is staying home. I, I, really I could justify that. that. I could justify that because you're not just gonna stay home and do nothing. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get what you're saying. At least yeah. you know what I'll say. Staying home as an LA person, that's what that's that's where it's at. But. But if you're gonna, if you have the funds for it, you're gonna travel. But you know, you're not gonna travel just anywhere small. You get me? You're gonna want to go and travel extravagant. You get me? You're and that's not, why and, you're and, not going to Tucson, Arizona. You're going to Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, realistically, yeah, yeah. you're going to the Grand Canyon. You're you're spending places that have hefty takes on your wallet. Yeah, that's why I have to say, I, I, as long as we can consider within the city staying home, so much more than travel. I like road trips. Like going on road trips. Road trips are draining, though. As a driver, <laughs> fuck. As a father, <laughs> oh, yeah, thing, like, like my memories of road trips were the family men versus the bachelor life. Essentially, <laughs> is what's going yeah, on. Yeah, almost, almost. Like when I would uh, visit Mexico, we would just, it was a road trip, like a three day road trip. Yeah, <laughs> it would just be like my parents and me, and my I would just be in the back. Chilling, watching movies, looking at the the scenery. So we, I like going to places mm-hmm. rather than just. Don't get me wrong, I love staying home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, oh, we're going camping. I fucking love going camping. I love, and even I camping. Can. Once you get the gear, it's not necessarily that expensive. No, I I side with you because that's what I do. I love camp. Don't get me. I I love camping, but but I also have to deal with kids. Uh, but and <laughs> but it's. It can get. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there? Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> where, where? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was lost too. I was lost too. I was like, uh, uh, it. You can go ahead and have. I want to argue an equal experience with that, in the staying homes thing. Because guess what? 
An adventure can also be, uh, although uh, albeit a poor example of one, a uh, bus ride. Instead of taking your car, take a bus. Instead of taking the 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 the, the bus, you get me. Like maybe try the try the metro for a little bit. But that that would be like bordering cities. You get me. Yeah. Um, but uh, I really want to go. Oh, okay. I really want to go ahead and say that staying at home can be cheaper, borderline a little bit more intimate, and more consistent. It's easier to do, so you can do more of it. You get me? Like I, I don't feel like everyone has a travel budget consistently. Right. But everyone's got a staying home budget. <laughs> you know. Like I said, I'm mainly focusing on the staying home portion because it's more of a feasible thing to do. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. why. So that's so what if funds was not an issue, let's take out financially. Uh huh. Would you still say staying at home is better, or true? Would you go yes, not to travel? Yes, because okay. time. See, that's the thing that I hate. Like me? when me and Lars went to Las Vegas, holy shit! To get there felt forever. You get for the results and the payoff of, yes. of what we did over there and just to come back, fuck, it was not worth it. I mean, ready, I let mean me, if we can, your Texas example with the whole van. Oh, God. You, that is the most I've driven. I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, driving is, driving is one thing. I it's mean, you so can also, draining, though. You can also take a plane. It's much more shorter. I mean, yeah. But, but then the you're funds? also dealing with the traffic. But, but like then, he said, what if there was no funds? What if you were? Able but you're to still dealing with the traffic to go to the airport. The, the uh, bullshit uh, the airport deals with was either delays or fucking which the harassment to a certain extent. Which airport? If you go to LAX, it's a nightmare. Tell me. But you like go to Long, Long Beach? Beach, go to Long Beach, go to Ontario. Awesome. It just depends on where you're going too. I can't those, go. I can't go to Hawaii to fucking from Long Beach. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you International flight. No, no, yeah, yeah. Long, Long Beach is crazy. Okay. I agree. I'll give you Long yeah. Beach over LAX, but yeah. I'll also give you time, bro. Like, it's flights are still gonna take a while. Yeah. You get me? Well, not as much, not as much, and not as much as driving. Of That's course. That's why you buy a ticket ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> buy a ticket. You, time of day of flight. Also well, this this but you have to consider, this will go into our next topic: procrastination rate Well, this will this will uh, this will all fall. Uh, fuck! I was gonna say something. It was a decent point. No, it's okay. It was a decent point. You still have to take the travel time in in considering. And also... That's part of traveling. And you lose control of that, I think, is also a bit of a factor for me. Because trains could be late. Planes could be late. Also, you could be Uh, stuck in anywhere, you get me? And and be stuck there. Oh, the the flight got canceled. All right, your power goes out. Not, not gonna lie, you like, can't worry about all the negative generator. <laughs> <laughs> don't, get, don't get me wrong, staying at home is cool. It's you know, but it, the travel portion is you get to explore, you get to see other things. You know, one you can definitely see a fucking homeless man just fucking fall, and you're gonna laugh your fucking ass off. <laughs> you know, uh, especially if you take the train, the metro link. You know, you're for, gonna see a lot of homeless people. For a guy who did a lot of Disneyland. Mm-hmm. I came to the realization I don't have to be there entire time because there are thousands of videos about it. Mm-hmm. I don't have to smell it. I don't have to deal with dealing with the traffic. I don't have to deal with the bullshit of trying to get in, trying to capture the moment. And I could just watch it within a 10 minute span versus an hour of trying to get in there. But it's I about mean, the experience. And coming back. Correct. But, but you could. I would argue you a see. visual experience is almost the same as being there. It, you see, the, the, you yeah. see, for me, it's different. Yeah. I, for me, I feel it's physically not. being there is the experience that I would prefer. It's <laughs> it's like it's like seeing Mickey on a phone. Oh, that's so cool. That's cute. Um, instead, you get to see Mickey with your kid, and actually, it's actually really fucking cool. You know. You, so it's just like, damn, they get to enjoy that portion. Mm-hmm. They're, they're watching it through I, a phone. It's kind of like, eh. But I mean, you can't tell me you've never faced situations when you get there and you're just like, "Wow, that was rather underwhelming." underwhelming. It really depends on the experience. For, for depends me, on what you're doing. Mm-hmm. All those factors are in consideration. I'm saying that for 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 an example, I know you guys aren't wrestling fans, but like you, as a wrestling guy, the WrestleMania is always the big thing. That's the Super Bowl when it comes to to, to wrestling. So when you're as a wrestling fan, you dream about going. That is the event to be at. Me and Joe and Lars were fortunate enough to be on the floor. We got good seats, but we dealt with bullshit traffic. We dealt with bullshit people. Yeah. Drunk people next to us. 
loudness, security guards being dicks for no reason. Versus I could have watched it at home and had a better experience. One would say maybe any sometimes a better view, like you get to see exactly uh-huh. things you get me. Because there was moments even while we're there and live, even though we're super close, we still had to look up at the monitors. We're like, what's going on? We can't see from that corner. And so it's like I'm looking at the monitor half the time during a match. So I was like, I, I could have just stayed home. I'm not going to see. Me and Joe both look at each other like, cool to be here, but maybe we're never coming back. I, yeah. I'm not going to sit here. Oh, sorry, go, go, no, go. go. You started first. So okay. sorry. No, no, you're <laughs> I think that's why I talk first because I quit. I'm quick. <laughs> um, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you that seeing the Grand Canyon in person is the same as seeing it in live. 100%. But I would go ahead and sit there and argue that I can see more of the Grand Canyon online than you would in person. Depends on like the package more or what he's sure, doing. Sure, but it's not the same. No, 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 no. no. I, I never said it was the mm-hmm, same. Mm-hmm. You get me? It's I said a I can, supplement. Yeah. It's a supplement that. Like to online? deal with the nine, ten hour drive of going there versus pulling up a video and watching five minutes of it. See, I, it it's, like I could watch a drone like, view. Like uh, uh-huh, I could watch a video exactly. of drone of it, like of fucking it going from the big side to the, uh, I don't know. I've never been the there, so si- north know, side to the south side. Exactly. Kind of thing. And then I could see another video of it, of it happening during winter. When everything's nice and cool, I can see another one in the summer. So you can see the blistering heat and everything dry. While you would have to make all those trips and all that. Am I saying it's better? No. But Mm -hmm. I get more of a scope, I think. I could get more of a scope of it online. Unfortunately. Just because of how technology advanced. I agree. I agree. So that's my only argument. I'm not saying it's better. But I'm saying quantity is there. Over quality. Sometimes. Just because of how far technology advances, quality is down near there. Because you could see that shit in AK. Yeah. Yeah. That, that I, I agree there. I well, in real there. life, you're basically like seeing like maybe 5K. Okay. <laughs> like, you, you, know, you see it good, but it's like, oh, it's kind of dusty or whatever, you know? Just that example. Yeah, yeah. Like in the video, you could zoom into the ego that's flying from 230 miles away. While Safely. <laughs> <laughs> Safely. Well, in person, you're like, is that where? Do you see it? I, I think I do. Like, it's still not the same, though. Yeah. No, no, like, no. We, like, we're definitely not arguing that. We're definitely not arguing the, that. The, the, the journey is part of traveling. That's so the you annoying have, like, part. Yeah. You guys have a negative to that. Yeah. Mm. Mine is just positive. I love going to places. It's like every time you go, there's always something different. While you're viewing it, you're watching the same thing all the time. Yeah. You see, being there live, there's always something I w- different. I would love to come back, like, maybe a year of you driving through it. Okay. Because being the driver is definitely different from being a passenger. No, yeah. Because you're enjoying the experience. Yes, a uh, thousand percent. Like you even said, you're watching videos, you're yeah. doing whatever. But driving, you you got to be conscious the entire time of the uh There's that added drivers. stress, yeah. that level of stress. That, and hey, it's not big, but you feel it. It's weird. And it drags. It, it's Because really of how weird. long it is. Because of how yeah. long it is. You get me? It's Especially like, when you're just driving desert, 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 desert. That's Fuck, cool now because you can be because as a driver you're like all right make sure nothing happens so hopefully the road is good blah 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 uh, oh, oh shit are we having wind or whatever right and then compared to the oh <laughs> like hey I got a new high level on the video you get me so even you technically speaking partake in the distraction of the traveling part right I I agree. I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Traveling is fucking fun. Of course, I would love to see the e- you know the pyramid of Egypt. You get me? I, I uh, see my a mother, lot of it on my, the online. My mother-in-law you know? says it was not worth being in life. Like it was a waste. Yeah, but how run down the city is yeah. and how run but, down the pyramid is. Oh no, 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 yeah. And then there's a bunch of fucking like people trying to scam you or like yeah, of course, oh, shit. like oh, crazy. I, I heard it's about crazy, about dude. The levels like that. Yeah, it's like. like ugh. Crazy. So you could not deal with that. You I could feel like see the beauty in that. I feel like sometimes that'll even ruin the 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 illusion of, or like that'll even take away from it. Like, because mm-hmm. I, I agree, I I want to I want to personally see the pyramid. You get me? Because I'm a little conspiracy theorist. I'm like, nah, this shit alien me. <laughs> you know, and so I want to physically see it. And I understand I'm gonna deal with the bullshit, like you said. I'm that that there's there's gonna be that, but I wouldn't be surprised if I get there and I'm like, fuck. Online pictures were better because I'm blind as shit. You get me? You get me? Oh, I, that, that's my only argument. But I agree. You'll have a much greater experience, but it'll be a greater in stress. But as there's well. always that gray. And then there's always, and there, there's two, you know what? 
it almost makes me feel like because I'm out of control of that situation, it can easily get overwhelming for me. With the people, because you have so many factors, traveling, pray to God, your car is good, you give me pray to road, the road conditions are good, and on top of all that, you could be good, but someone else can fucking ruin your experience because you're traveling, and then God forbid you get hurt in a car crash or something like that because of somebody else's fault. So, so granted, to, to I, be I'm fair, looking at just a negative, right? Yeah. But I'm saying staying at say home. All that could happen at home. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. correct. But, but saying, you have less of a stress about it because unless you're not a to thousand that. miles away. Unless exposure, I would My say. My mechanic's here f- 10 minutes away. Yeah. I ain't tripping too hard. Fuck. I'm I, I ain't worried like, fuck, do I got to go to the mechanic now? If the mechanic senses you don't know the person, they don't know you, they might upcharge you. Mm-hmm. You don't know how much they're charging in this area. If they see that you're worried, they're definitely going to upcharge you. <laughs> You know I mean, obviously, we're lo- like you said, we're looking at just yeah, a negative. a thousand percent. But I'm making points of why staying at home is my way of going in my life choice right now. You know? Like, even if I had the option of traveling, I think I would rather stay home. There's just too, too many stressing factors to traveling that I don't have the patience in that area to handle. Yeah, the thing, you don't, you don't, like, eh. For me, I've been through so much traveling, like, it happens. I don't give a shit. Like, oh, my flight's delayed. That just means I stay here for a little bit longer. I, you know, and I get that because, uh, like like you said, amazing memories were made on the road. Yeah. So I want to give amazing memories to my family, too. Yeah, of course. So I'm not saying I don't want to travel. I'm saying that before I travel somewhere far, I'm sure as fuck making sure that they're having the most that they can of what we have at, while staying at home. Any Not other points. points for travel? <laughs> <laughs> we talked a lot for at home. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean... I just what like going say? out. I mean, <laughs> well, like you said, could go out at home too. It's well, but it's not the same. It's not like I said. It's just because especially if we lived in dumb fuck Tucson, Arizona, I would get that. But we live in LA. There's so no, many. No, if you're saying by and, you guys are saying local, so that's just. Yeah. You yeah. said city limit. Yeah. So yeah. that would be just. Okay. You know, would you say you explored everything of already? Anything I'm that's worth so. like looking at? Yeah. Because. If you go to LA and then come back, I wouldn't call that traveling. That's traveling. Yeah, yeah. that's considered traveling. What the fuck? Yeah. You got to use your car, 60 <laughs> miles. That's travel. That's why I was giving you guys, like, yeah, you guys can stay in the city. Well, but mm-hmm. anything beyond the city, it's, that's that's traveling. That, that, you, you gotta county, go to, county. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to, yeah, you're traveling. Yeah. You got to go to. You're that's traveling. Right. I would not consider that traveling. Yeah, that's traveling. Oh. You travel. 45 minutes. No. City limits. Mm-hmm. City limits. Why do we live in fucking guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you were the one that put that limit of the uh, because city. because I I, I want to be. I fair. did hear county. That's he said L A county. I no, that was after I would, city. Uh, I, mean, I still would, gotta go to Orange County. I would argue. I would argue. Huh? I, I would. Right? I would go. In, if you want to go by county, you still gotta go to Orange County for some. Yeah, because things. to you me, know. you're traveling. To me, if I go to. Disneyland. I'm not traveling to Disneyland. Uh, I just went to Disneyland. If I go to Universal thing. Studios, I is didn't Disneyland travel. Disneyland local? It's I would, you still I, traveled. First, personally, I view that as not local. local. I do. No, because again, because if you say I drove here, it's like the same thing you can say well, I drove to LA. I mean, to, but to, to, me, uh, to uh, me, Disney, it's Orange County. So you'd be traveling a county. To me, uh, travel is anything more than two hours. Realistically, I'm not boasting. To me, uh, travel is more than two hours. Like <laughs> I, I to San Diego. It's a trip, not a travel. That's travel, yeah. No, how far is San Diego? Two, uh, two uh, hours? Like like roughly. roughly. Like More like an hour, hour and, and a half in the traffic. Half, yeah, yeah, I want to say like 45 minutes, bro. That's not traveling. That's traveling, yeah. We might have to change that. <laughs> I, I originally had thought like, yeah, stay home. That means you just stay, stay home. Stay home. Yeah, no, no one does that. Or a few people do that. But like... <laughs> We're not low level. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. As I mean, long as you go on a car. Because if I want to go to movie theater, I don't count that at all. Travel is somewhere out of your norm, like no. out of your reach. How about how a about travel this? has to be out of your reach? Ask other no, people. It does. Ask other people what traveling would indicate. Because then true. that can. Because that can. I. I feel like. Yeah. You, you need, like, you, yeah. we need, we, yeah, yeah, I know. I have so many thoughts about it. Um, I would feel because like when it when depends s- on what you would consider how how much time. Is it officially you're traveling somewhere? Anything outside of the city. <sighs> because Basically. no, no one mean, says, I want to travel more and then just goes like to LA, you know? Like, 
That's not traveling. Yeah, would you consider going to the LA that, if oh, I traveled to LA? Yeah. I took a trip to LA? Yeah. No. Nah. Okay. Yeah, huh? that's the trip and not a travel. Like you're not going to call LA an LA trip. You call it an LA trip. I mean, that's a rough push, but okay. Yeah, I just right, took good, a trip good. over to what? Corona. I just took a trip over to what? Huntington Beach. Modesto. Yeah. Modesto. Fresno. Emmett. Emmett. San Bernardino. I, I think I mean, people that say I that want to wanna travel typically live in bumfuck nowhere where the next city is like miles away. Uh, okay, but. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So to travel is to go from one place to another, especially over a long distance. A trip is act of going to a place for a short period of time and returning. So returning like LA, it's not a, tr- it's a, tr- it's a trip, not a travel. Eh. I like it. Still, it's a long distance. <laughs> Does it specify the distance? You're not going to do a round trip like a distance can be anything, honestly. Yeah. Long distance. What what classifies long distance? Okay. okay, I would say you would spend the night there for more convenience. That's that didn't give me distance. Yeah, that's not distance. <sighs> like for example, what do you guys think in yeah, the comments? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Ask them. Like, what do you think? In the, yeah, I agree with that. That that def- that definition would make it. Would you know make me sway? Yeah, because you're telling me LA is a fucking travel. Because yeah, <laughs> travel to LA. Okay. I mean, LA is a long distance, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Thirty miles. About so. Thirty miles. Thirty miles. Yeah. It's about thirty. It's about twenty. About thirty. Uh, like if you were going to put it, I'd feel maybe. What are we calling? Maybe. maybe. What are it's we probably calling? Like maybe? a late twenty, latest, but it's probably about thirty. Yeah, because it's like to, to me, a mile would be a exam- minute. For example, from here, a mile is a minute. Okay, if you're in a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to me, like if you are gonna make a trip to Disneyland, it's going and coming back. But if you're gonna travel to Disneyland, you're gonna stay like in the hotel for like a day or two. Yeah, yeah. yeah because that, that's a travel now, you know. Mm-mm. Okay, that's good. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Let us it. know <laughs> in the comments down below <laughs> whether you prefer to travel or staying home, and what is your definition? More importantly, what yeah, is your I'm definition? Gen- Start questioning I'm, everything. I'm, I'm I'm so great. I'm generally <laughs> want. I generally want to know that because because it's I'm, weird that both of us agree with with kind of like the definition. If you could go within like a day, you're fine. Oh, okay, how about this? We live in or where this is this is LA happening County. in it. Yeah, this, we we're in LA County. Traveling within that is is uh, traveling within that. Uh, hey, you, you you fucking said traveling. He's questioning it though. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Travel within county. Let's see, travel within the. But you see, traveling within county. That's, yeah, I will never count we'll that see, as we'll travel. See, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, let us know. Because like, comment. oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so next up, it's Pablo and Mark for procrastination, and me and Jose is for his procrastination. I'm proud of Get that shit done. <laughs> I'm I just like to have nothing to worry about. Exactly. And that's why I like staying at home. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But I'll say this. A hundred percent. It's in you already. Right. It's just like, fuck it. Or you force yourself. Ah, fuck it. Let me just quickly get it done. Are you the same beast? But a different. <laughs> what the, what the fuck, fuck does that, that mean? Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Bryant. <sighs> you get me? Yeah, like the, no. From me, from do you the, force yourself? No, it like, just happens, right? Yeah, like I have the thing I need to do. Let me get I'm it right done here. and not think about it for however many days. Dude. I'm one of those where, like, honestly, uh, um, one of uh, those. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm one of those where, like, if I know I can get it done at a certain period of time, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want for a good period of time before I get it done. You know, of course, it's gonna get done, mm-hmm. but regardless of the time what if, frame, what if I'm you like, don't? Okay. Though there's always that worry in the back of my mind. What if you don't? Honestly, I I, what if something the same as the traveling aspect or, oh, what if your car? What if this? What if that? The, the same aspect of waiting last minute. Oh, what? What if you need to do something else? But I, guess I would argue that <laughs> if you're get, if you're getting shit done immediately, it's easier to go ahead and mess up and overlook something Whoa. because of your no. rush of getting things done right away. <laughs> it's not like I, I just got this. I must finish it as soon as yeah, no, you don't like, have OCD to like. Finishing, you're nervous. It's yeah, ca- quite the contrary. You're lax doing it because you have so much time that you could put time and effort into it and not just scramble last minute. A scramble last minute is like, oh shit, no, I forgot this. But with procrastination, that I feel like there might be a better of a plan 
going and you going with a clear head. You get me like, okay, I want to do this. Then you're There's procrastination. More game planning. That's a procrastination. Yeah. Even if you're game- planning beforehand, that's procrastination. Yeah. Yeah. But we're, we're talking about completing the task. Is Who what the said. fuck said that? I, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> that's almost be, if, if I'm not mistaken. Because you're thinking about the task. No, procrastination is I'm going to leave this last minute. Yeah. Then last minute be like, Ah oh, fuck! I forgot it. I need to do this, and then just scrambling to do whatever the fuck. Yeah. Well, if you're thinking thing. about it, that is pre, because even a game plan is planning to do it. Okay, okay. Then I, I believe that this argument is not what is better. Let's be real. No, again, it, again, none of these are what's yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're it's not just, deciding just, to do what. Yeah, it's, it's your it's, own it's life. Just, We're just, just your point of preference. view. It's a podcast, yo. Don't take us seriously. We have no credentials. <laughs> <laughs> no um, credentials. We <laughs> love that. We live in LA fucking county for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Los Angelinians. <laughs> it goes along the lines of you feel that you have it down. And that it can get done with it, and you see that it being feasible within a certain time frame, so you lock that time frame for a letter for for down the line. Yeah, I mean, like just like I said, you know, you know, you're gonna be able to get it done. You know, you know, you're gonna get it done in a certain time frame. So you're just like, yo, fuck it, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. Okay, cool, get it done. All right, cool, it's done. All right, go back to what I was doing. Like my thing is, what's next isn't guaranteed. Yes, the now is guaranteed. Eh. But then if you're so worried about getting that shit done, you it's might go not worry. The, no, no, no. The, the thing is, and I'm going to take it to a little bit of an extreme. Okay. So my thing is, let's say I have to drink this water within the week. Okay. Let's just okay. say, for example, I could drink it now that I have time and I have nothing to worry about. Or I'm like, well, I could drink this water by the end of the week. But then I don't know where he gets it sick and I forget about the water. And now I'm worried about that. By the end of the week. No, I get that. So uh, I rather do drink my water now, get it over with, than be confident and have something out of here out of nowhere. I would be a dick and be like, well, maybe let if you weren't die, so worried about drinking die. the water, you would have noticed he wasn't feeling so well. And you could have taken him to the doctor while you're here worried about your fucking water. <laughs> let it die. Let oh it God, die. No, let no, it no, up no. and die. <laughs> Like, I, mean, I don't know like I said, for me i wouldn't mind it i'm just be like all right cool oh it's almost done all right nice eh. all right cool I, I don't know it's just for me it's like i guess to me it sounds like i don't care akuna matata akuna you do matata? like the lion king <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, i guess to me it sounds like i don't care but uh i'm just like eh. okay it'll, it'll be done we care <laughs> okay done it just instilled in me as a young age like just do it now well, that's you what see, I was saying. I, I was saying I'm you, very rebellious. Have it in you. I was. I'm really. Oh, rebellious. I saw you saying that for yourself. How is that? Me what saying I you guys have it in you for myself. I heard cut? we have it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have it that. in you. Yeah, I heard we. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here. Say we. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I'm rebellious as hell. My what do you call? Rebellious. My family was always like, "Oh, you should do, to get it done now." And I'm just like, "Why? I'm gonna get it oh, done eventually." That's your weight loss journey. I get it now. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna get done. Yeah. Allegedly. Will it get done? God. <laughs> Before this gets done. It's gonna get done eventually. Uh, uh, well. You might be staring into a mirror. Oh. oh no. Run! Run! Put the taco down! Oh, what the mirror? Mirror? What Put the mirror? Taco down. There's no mirror here. <laughs> Just the ceiling. <laughs> oh god. I'm not saying procrastination is the best of things. We're it's saying none of this. Yeah. But it is the Easiest thing to do for us. It's, it's, I don't get how it's easier just because they're of other shit that could happen. I, you know what? Procrastination, I would say, is easy when you don't have a lot on your plate. No, because you're trying to get your plate clean. It's okay. For example, it's as. But if you're when, dealing with no, other no, stuff, you no, know. No, 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 no. You can't prioritize that right now. You're like, I got time to do this. Let no, me no. focus on this task at hand that I could take care of now. Let me give you an example. Multi-task. So it's basically <laughs> while you're cooking, are you letting the dishes pile up or are you cleaning while you're cooking? I you, I, you see what I'm I saying? I clean as I cook too, yeah. I, I, I don't well, obviously yeah. I don't cook, you but don't, I'm just yeah. saying. I get like that. that's the example. I get that, but I have also been I I, I also would argue that you know what? Let me focus on cu- cooking. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome, what an amazing meal. All right, let me go back to this. Oh, I don't know. And clean. Jackie hates that, but that's really how it mainly goes. You're like, because, I mean, think about it. A chef, of course, does clean up. 
But he doesn't. Uh, but he doesn't go ahead and stop scrub a pan. No, yeah, you're not that's, stopping. He's like, oh, you I'm can let eat. it simmer or whatever yeah. and clean. You know, it's when there's a break in the action that I turn my back to it and I wash the dishes. We get that. So, for example, but like after said, dinner, all he has is to clean his his place that he used. Gonna take him two minutes at most, while you are gonna take an extra ten, to to an extent. You know, that's that is where procrastination comes in versus the procrastination and that's where we rather get it out the way so we have less to worry about there's nothing that breaks our relaxation yeah yeah Mm. we're not it's not added stress (laughs) it's anything it's getting rid of future potential stress like i do the thing now and i don't have to worry about it it's out of sight out of mind procrastination is like Sometimes you just go, oh, fuck, I forgot to do the thing. Mm-hmm. And how many times does that ruin something, you know? Yeah, but but I would argue, let's say, just to give this, use the same example. Mm-hmm. But then you're going to go ahead and maybe fuck up by leaving the chicken there a little too long because you're too busy freaking picking up the, the bowl that you made your sauce in. I don't at, know. At that you point, I, I know you personally can't handle that multi- that multiple <laughs> yeah, no, Once I, I know Like okay I'm not gonna I'm done the chicken <laughs> The chicken's done The rice needs to boil For 15 minutes I have now 15 minutes To turn my back Confidently And clean these dishes So and when I'm done eating be, But is it you Or timer. is it the dish I mean is it you Or is it the Like do you use a rice cooker Or you have it in a pot It's in a pot On the stove So you You and manually Take it off and all that Yeah Okay okay it's as simple as I'm oh, thinking like rice cooker. You get me? Yeah. And there's a rice cooker. Well, I do a rice cooker if it's white rice. Yeah. But if it's Mexican rice, I do it on the stove. And then as simple as let me put something in my phone. We have timers on our phone. It's not as an adult. We need to be responsible enough to know our own failures, and we have technology to have us not be failures. Listen, you know, I'm not here arguing that <laughs> my procrastination has bit me in the ass a a time or two, right? Yeah, and but that I'm happened to me once, so much and, we and never again. I get that. Bites me in the ass all the time, but I mean, do I, I change that? No, I man. haven't changed it. I haven't. And Doesn't then, need to, oh, and, and then oh, you guys complain 100%. about life bringing you down. <laughs> you do it to oh, yourself. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm. I definitely agree that procrastination is such a fucking kick to your own shin. You know. Yeah. But at the time, I would say I validate me doing that because I'm quote unquote prioritizing whatever's being done at the moment now. Assuming there's something to be done. More than Mm -hmm. likely, because I'm not going to put that off too much. You get me? Like, have I before? I would say when it came to dragging things like essays and all that. Laundry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Laundry. Laundry, I procrastinate. Because it's just not that easy always for me to go ahead and like, let me just stay up another three hours and go fucking wash. Let me tire. Let me go and sleep now so I can catch up. And I can do that later. Like, actually, you know what? That's a perfect example. I got one more underwear. I got one more underwear, one more sock, one more this, one more that. Awesome. I can do it at the end of today. Say, no. I'll do that. I'll do that. To me, my... Whatever you guys want to call it, I'm not superstitious about it. Anxiety uh-huh. will come like I'm down to four, down to three. I'm not letting it down to what two. What if I shit myself? What? Yeah, he's like, what if I'm dirty and I need those extra ones? And they fuck oh, it. Fuck. You don't wear one. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Commando. Seven. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I've done it before. Sorry. Of course. Yeah. Oh, my chair. <laughs> No, I have an. Yeah, I would hope so. No, I, I, do. <laughs> I can show you right now. Oh God, <laughs> I want to. I can't see nothing. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so let us you don't want to see the pickle. <laughs> Bro, I would the say, let us know pep- what you are a procrastinator, or procrastinator. Yeah, you know? not like what you prefer, but what you are procrastinator. Yeah. No one's gonna prefer to procrastinate. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so last up, we have in-store shopping between Pablo and Mark, and online shopping me and Joselias. Ah, uh, accuracy. Is the key What the, the fuck does that mean In the sense of You're there You get to see The product that you're More than likely purchasing Because we're doing the, Store shopping There are images online Yeah but those but, on, uh, Images online Aren't always accurate And like, descriptive every, Where know. are you shopping eBay No you're shopping Either a trusted site Or like Yeah yeah I but, mean, but this is In general shopping Just It's like for instance Let's say if you Online shop for Converse All the time Yeah, yeah. You would know That you have to get A size up 
right? But it would more than likely require a failure for you to know that. But if you go into the store and you realize, oh, Converse fit me bad. I'm let me a, go ahead and. I'm going to argue with you real quick. Was it not more than two months ago you bought Jackie shoes in store, have her take it home, and be the wrong size, Pablo? Okay, right, right, right. <laughs> I would argue that, that was Jackie online shopping by sending me to go get something she without pick, her no, trying no, no, it out. She, didn't, she pick didn't pick a size. She didn't pick nothing. She did not online shopping. That is not online shopping. No, no. She she told me that she wanted rain boots her size, and I got rain boots her size. Allegedly. No, no, no. Bitch, you were there. <laughs> I, got I don't know her shoe size. size. I don't no, know no, her no, shoe size. I, yeah, yeah. I got the right shoe size. Those weren't it. Those you needed to go bigger because, yeah, the foot size was good. But the freaking the way it was angled, you needed like a bigger size for you to go and sit comfortably good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get that result through online shopping better without having to suffer so much more consequence. Convenience. Yes. I'll go. Ahead, I'll be the first one to say it. online shopping. There's definite convenience, but reliability and it's also also online. also quality, bro. Because something can look amazing. Oh, it's 100 percent quality, blah, blah, blah. But then cuando te lo dan, se mira, se siente todo chafita, bro. Yep. Even when you buy a chair, it looks like, oh, you know, it's going to be a nice, tall chair. Cool. You actually get your like. You're oh. not doing measurements then. Yeah, you guys are. No, I always up. get yeah. my tape measure and I'm like, okay, it's right. this. Who okay. Does, I mean, but who does that a lot? No, I, I don't do Precrastinations. I don't do that. Measuring, I feel like, is the wrong word because we do do measuring. We have an idea in our head already. Oh, we got to get this size, this measurement, per se. Measurement, what? XL. Whatever, like that, right? Uh -huh. So measurement is happening. But the quality sometimes is hidden in the advertising or the description of it. It's, Again, a, what's. If I describe you a banana, if I describe you a banana. And you've never had a banana, and I describe you a banana. You're, I can never describe it to you as good as you tasting it or trying it yourself. You're not trying it in the store, though. Yeah, you are. You're not trying a banana in the store. Yeah, no, what the hell are you talking about? I mean, oh, and you're not trying it online either. Exactly yeah. the same. No, but what the, the fuck description. Are you about? But if you try it in store and over, you get it in online. Well, you're not eating a banana in store. Yeah, Give a good example. Costco, Costco, Costco. Say it. Speak I up. I'll try stuff on you. You want to get to try new? New, I agree there. But normally, when you're online shopping, you're not trying new. And if you are, you're like, ah, oh, take the gamble. Same as yeah. in store. Mm -hmm. You're not always having the Costco samplers. So no, that's still a shitty example. Ah. Also, I buy. A ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then make yeah, I bought my uh, my parents the their washer dryer and refrigerator from Costco online. But that's different though. You're not wearing it. You're but it's online buying. shopping. So is yeah, is online shopping yeah, only okay. clothes? Is it only bananas? But you also what are you a minion banana? banana. <laughs> um, <laughs> but also you would go and say sometimes the pretty the picture looks pretty, but seeing it in person. You're like, nah, nah it's fucking ugly. Where are you ugly. shopping? I'm How do you guys fuck it up so badly? It can, it can be anywhere. I mean. I've I've actually gotten shoes that's technically my size. I buy them. They come in. They feel so tight. And I'm like, to, what to the fuck? Did fair? you check the size? Yeah. When you got like on the. No, no, no. Oh, yes. It, okay. This isn't a racing, but there's a lot of Chinese, Japanese products that even says it may vary. So you're not measuring like, yourself. So Nike, you're dude. not measuring yourself. This was Nike. And it was measuring myself. Are you sure you didn't get women's? I'm 100% sure. I'm just sure. saying, like, a women's size is a lot smaller. I'm not, like, sure. making fun of you or anything. I no, just, no, like, no, 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 100% <laughs> sure. Because, like, this one time, I'll Sorry. buy, like, Adidas on my size, and then I'll buy a Nike that's my size, and... For some reason, the Nike didn't fit me as well as one of the Adidas. I and I'm just, just feel like, what like the you fuck? You guys got bad luck. No, no it so, happens all so the time. Like, speaking of bad luck, sorry, speaking of bad luck, you're more prone to scams and, and having some issues via online. <laughs> if you're using like scamme.com when I buy shirts, yeah. Yeah, I'm not buying shit from eBay, hey, wait, wait, wait. Wish. Hey, like, I'm buying it from PayPal. Amazon. There's Paypal people getting scammed from Amazon. PayPal too. is a legit. It th uh, what would it be considered? A legit a business type of to go ahead entity. Yeah, it's a legit entity to go ahead and purchase stuff. Oh, You're, no, oh, no, 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 no. PayPal? 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 No, no. PayPal. Oh. No, no. PayPal is essentially like a credit card. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You need funds. Correct. But those funds can be uh, su subjected to more malware, like subjected to malware, viruses, scammers, and you can't get hackers. Mugged in person? 
Yeah, more yeah. than you're gonna get uh, scammed. How or, many times or have you online? heard on the news like, "Oh, be careful when you put gas. You get these fucking things." It's in person and and online, and the scam are the same. Yeah, essentially. not the you're same gonna amount. get scammed. You're gonna get attempted to get sta- scammed, regardless if it's online or in person. But more than in person, there was recently a video of like uh, at a Seven Eleven. Yeah, that's in front. Seven Eleven and not too far from here. I believe that. Where they just like pop the top off and like, yeah, this is a fake one that will scam you and grab yeah. your identity. The cashier doesn't go nowhere half the time at 7-Eleven. They're just standing in the back. Yeah. They're standing there an and they still thing. got... <laughs> ah, I would say because you use that's electronic... That's an internet. When you enough. pay cash, it's not a fucking issue. I mean, they both... <laughs> in the modern not, day, not after post-COVID, there's hardly any cash. Yeah. So suck a dick. <laughs> I mean, in the end of the day, technically, you can get fraud either or. Exactly, so, yeah. But I would feel more... You'd, you'd get more inclination or more likelihood to happen that via online situations I than in disagree. person. No, because I grew up... Doing stuff online, so I know like ah, it's bad. Ah, it's yeah, bad. yeah. Again, we're not going to like some sketchy site. We're going to reliable sources such as Amazon, Walmart. That's how you go in store because that is the reliable source. I feel like there's so more prone to errors. Or apps. There's more prone to errors in online though. There is actually more prone to errors. Again, I feel like sh- you guys are unlucky. Yeah, I've had zero issues. Like out of the hundreds of times that I bought stuff online, I've maybe gotten one thing wrong. When it was a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that they gave me the wrong structure deck. Okay, and, I, and, when I, <laughs> and to that, using you as an example then, would you say that you, when you physically gone out to go look at something and purchase it, that that then situation it wasn't has there? happened? You, no. You, what do you mean? Yeah, I, I bought it online because all the stores that I went to uh-huh. didn't have it. Oh, okay. No, have I, you never I, I gone that. in a store and bought something the wrong? In store? Yeah. No, not really. Not necessarily. Not really. Yeah. So there's there's a time. Well, because like for instance, that example with the boots. Yeah. Technically speaking, Jackie wasn't there, so she wasn't purchasing online, but I did. I I was the one. I was her online. You know. It's mm-hmm. not the. You, so that's so I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use an example of Lourdes and her failure. Why? Be better. No okay. <laughs> So I uh, the Oreos we get is always double stuff. Double stuff. I can tell her double stuff. She got mega stuff. <gasps> that was in store. The criminal. Exactly. <laughs> Do better. <laughs> that was in store. But it was a mess up. It was a human error there, right? She didn't look at a list and be like, I got to get double stuff. Oh, mega stuff. By the way. Yeah, but she still bought it wrong. More? It's double the double stuff. Yeah, <laughs> love, yeah. That's crazy. It, double stuff is perfect. Yeah. And then mega stuff is just. Oh. Harpener. <laughs> <laughs> Or like uh, Mexicans with what was it, cabbage and repollo, repollo y lechuga. Uh-huh, exactly. Mm. There is still prone to error. Yeah, but that's through ignorance. Error would be malfunctioning of a system that you're using. Mm. At you Kmart, our systems would go down all the time. What are you talking? about? <laughs> yeah, and then the online shopping would be royally fucked, and the customers in there would be like, "You got cash," <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, but it, getting fucked by the system is the same whether it's online or in store. There's a blackout. Oh, you're fucked. I would yeah. argue out of my you store. can get fucked by the system easier and more online than in person. If you're retarded, maybe. <laughs> they're both prone to errors. I can agree to that. They're both prone to errors. I can agree. But I would feel that online, it favors more. I feel like it favors by more little. if you were older. Like our parents and our grandparents are more susceptible to those scams than we are. Because yes. we grew up... On the dawn of the internet. Yeah. So we know like, hey, don't fucking click that. That's fucking sketchy. Yeah. Don't, you know, don't go to sca- these teachers are scams.com because these teachers are scams. Don't go to Timu. That's what's wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we know better to not be stupid. Also, while you're in store, you're limited to what's in stock. Uh, well, we also have limited stock, but we have more of a stock and more variety. I'll give that to you a thousandfold. There's no way we can compare it, right? Mm-hmm. But that, that's why I'm saying that my main argument would be reliability. Things can still go wrong. Like, you can find exactly what you want in that one place that they have it there. But the reliability were to be, if it's a possibility for you to go in store to get it, that might be a little bit more secure than being able to go ahead and having to hope that they actually do ship it out or having to hope that there's no issue. Usually the, the count is a lot 
more accurate than in store have you ever you guys have looked up something or has an associate hey, do you guys have this oh yeah we have 12 in stock they yeah, go because, look but and you check in the back online for that right it's their system their store system which is inventory yeah inventory i i, I would know because i'm in that Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. It's a lot more accurate online. But they get the Sometimes. online from a person. They get the on. Um, they get the no. That's not. That's not always true. Yeah, because it can. They can not even register that. Oh, they just bought two of those seconds ago. Because there'll be times when we'll have prone. Let's say there's three on stock. We go check. It's actually not on stock, exactly. and they're just disappeared and you saw that number of figure being there online or in your system right it can be either in, or in store system either yeah. or but it is an in-store system but it's either or because someone can still do it online but we don't have it someone can try to purchase it in store because it says we have it but we don't have it but what's it what do you mean well, the item you're looking for yeah oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, i was so confused so right that's what i'm saying it's i get what you mean it's like your it's, inventory it's, list it's, in the store yes. says we have one but you so see it's, it, it's not there. So it's prone to errors either or, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah, it's honestly just the convenience just is skyrocketed online. You're like, oh, yeah. say like, oh, it's my convenient. PS5 controller broke. I just order one on Amazon. It's the exact same price. as Sometimes any, cheaper. Sometimes cheaper at any store that I will go to. If you're patient enough, you could make a list. Get notifications when you go on sale and buy it when it goes on sale. Oh, I agree. At That's a store, you idea. have to go through the fucking papel, which who does that nowadays? Or fucking go there to visually see. And have the risk of it not being at the store you went. And not on sale. Yeah. Online shopping is cool, but my preference is for sure an in-store. Like just, just clothes? As a preference. The first time I buy it from a new brand, sure in person, so I know what, how it fits. Yeah. But after that, like, fuck no. I'm not going to go to the store and maybe have that stuff. Like this stock. shirt I bought online, you know your size, you know your size. But you got it from the same store possibly and you already know what size you wear. Correct. It's the yeah, same so you wear you're already, So you're confident already of what you're going to get. Yeah. Which so is like accurate. That, you know? If you could read the website, it says sizes may vary. Look at our platform and you look at their size uh, chart. Their size chart, yeah. And I know, but, like, you, okay, trust, but, but you trust then. the source because you bought it there before. No, I'm saying if it's somewhere new. What do you mean? If it's not the same store. But oh. the same product, same brand. Same thing. Even if it's a different store, same brand, same product. Like you sure. purchase, you okay, purchase. So you basically have confidence on that brand of what you're buying. So you're confident that you're going to buy it online. But online <laughs> is not like to a brand. You know, I'm not going it to It is a thing. brand because all brands create things by their size that they create. Do no, when it comes to that, Amazon. Yeah. Usually they do. No, they don't. Yeah, you do because you're confident could, what I, brand you're buying. Let's say, okay. I could look up a jacket. Not every link is by Amazon. Mm -hmm. It's from different sites. Different sites might have different sizes. Yes, I'm not always but buying I'm talking from about one. The, yeah, but I'm talking about the brand. You're buying it from the same brand. Not same mm -hmm. website. You can buy from different websites. You're just buying it from the brand. Okay, but what's your argument? Here? My argument is when you're buying a certain brand, let's say you're going to buy the Adidas, then you know what site you're going to get for the Adidas. Mm -hmm. If you're going to buy from Rex. Nike, you know your, what site you're going to buy from Nike because that's what you're buying it from. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah, but I'm saying I like when a shirt, it comes from online, you don't necessarily know what the brand is. Now you do. You typically do. Like, uh, specifically I mean, you like Amazon. You click on the description. That's what we were just talking yeah. about earlier. Like you Amazon argue the specifically other point. will have like the brand it is. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But it's not always the same one. What do you mean? What? I don't get it. Now I'm laughing. I'm not, <laughs> okay, I don't okay. get what you two are saying. Right? <laughs> okay, no, no. For example, for example, this Avatar shirt, right? Correct. Amazon could have three different listings from it. Correct. From different stores. Mm -hmm. But you don't know if store A is printing them on what type of shirt or if store B is using the same one store A is using. Oh, because of a drop boxing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not all the same. They're about the, but what's the brand? Okay, then I would I would that's why I, would I don't argue know. That point it's a, you. it's a it's, store. It's it usually tells you though. No, sometimes the thing they'll do is they'll they'll buy the stock from one shop and then they'll have like, oh this is our brand and then they'll rebrand it. Well, yeah, but it's usually it's always a fruit from the loop, or it's usually it's a Hanes, or uh, usually. But, but it's that's a. I would feel like that's a moot point because we, of all the items we're talking about, right? Uh -huh. But I would argue that I would go ahead and do that argument against you. You're right, Fossil. You can't always determine what exactly is being given to you online, even though it says a certain description. You can eliminate that by being there. 
Yeah, that's why you, they have a size chart. No, but he's saying they're all the same. Once you oh, chop I'm that one, is by it's brand though. I'm, I'm not saying I'm by not brand. That. You yeah. don't know the. F- they don't put yes, that in the well, description. Well, like if you you're getting mean? Adidas, I think I think you're stuck and on shoe the shoe size. Obviously, yeah. I think I, okay. I, but, I'm saying this shirt an example. You're, he's saying like, oh, you know the exactly, brand, but that's not a Walmart shirt. That's a Fruit of the Loom shirt that you bought from Walmart. You get me? You're not buying Hanes Levi's. You're buying Levi Levi's from sold from Walmart. Usually, most um, shirts are created like that. It tends to usually be Fruit of the Loom or Hanes. Uh-huh. Usually that's the sense. I don't like the. So as I'm saying, um, so when it's from that brand, you already know the sizes, so you're already confident of what you're buying because I you're buying a brand. But you know, here's the thing. I, I he keeps no, no, saying no. brand, but to be I feel fair, like, when you buy a shirt online, it's not Fruit of Loom Avatar. Yes, yes it, it is. They do. No, it doesn't. They, it tells it, you on the description. Okay, on the oh, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ask your partner. Ask your okay, partner. in that case, I've never looked at that. I had no idea. You said earlier that you looked at the descriptions. Yeah, for a shirt. Yeah, for a plain black tee, anything. you're not looking at or everything. You get me? I will look at the size chart, like to make sure. Yeah, right? usually but, the size chart tends to tell you. Yeah, and then like, oh, Wait. that's about right. Yeah, I just buy it online. I still don't get what's your argument right, about right, the brand. Right. So right, when brand. you go to Walmart, so yes, when you go- why is it? A, I don't understand. I get the how shoe you're part, but not the shirt. Yeah, I, don't I don't get the shirt part. Yeah, I mean, there's Nike shirts, there's Adidas shirts, there's shirts by what? But what a other tea, brands? A T yeah, does but not Hanes. say it. Same yeah, thing. Hanes when you go to Hot loop. Topic, you don't know if it's a Hanes or a Fruit. That's not get this. No, oh, fuck. I hit. I hit my phone. Oh, no, here. you're right. There isn't. But also, they do have their own branding. Like, let's say what no, Enjoy. Correct. Enjoy has their own shirts. We know yeah. what what shirt you're gonna get because you've purchased from that brand before, so you know what's gonna correct. be that size. But, correct. But but what I'm saying, the Hot Topic and, for example, Macy's or Walmart's tea aren't the same. Yeah, I'm not see, shopping by about, the brand. But you see, that's another issue that we're having there. You're shopping from a generalized store that sells a bunch of items, right? Mm-hmm. We're talking about also, like. From the store, buying from uh, from uh, uh, Nordstrom, buying from from uh, essentially Coach, online is like a Gucci. swap. Meet. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. They use a lot of fruit Walmart and, and all that, and Target are all they do. Basically <laughs> that swap meet but type. no one looks at that mark. Like, let me. There's get- people that do. Fosto, you're telling me that when you go to Walmart, you're g- and you, let's say you need medicine. Are you looking for? No, I'm using the teacher example. Medicine? I'm using the teacher example exactly for. When you got this shirt, did yeah. you look at the company, the brand? Say, well, this I is Hanes or Fruit of Loom? Hanes? No, I, well, I saw in. Oh, well, I but let's. You look at the design. Cool. What size do they have? My size. Cool. Let me order that. That is literally the transaction to shirts. So then, yeah, I, I, I get that, right? But you also look at certain descriptions, like you said, sizes may vary. What happened to that? It usually says it on the size chart, right? In plain, big, bold letters, sizes may vary. And then once you and recognize, that's, but that's once when you, you made a purchase, once you made a purchase from that, then you would know. Oh, I gotta go up. I gotta don't or go down or just it's just right. You have that that. But I'm not that, looking that for the medium, store. Not medium. You have that range of error at the store online. Because uh, in person, you could see, you could physically even like put it over you. You could even fucking put it on. But in online, there's still that range of error because numbers there's, can fluctuate and there's, stuff like that. But there's also in store, not everything, because I used to do this, like when I saw an XL, it's an XL. Let me grab it. Then I go home, put it on. Ah, XL, shit, slim I fit. I should have tried it. Exactly. I wasn't paying attention to the slim fit. Oh, I get that this is possible, but I'm saying you're gonna run less of a chance. I feel like I've gotten more mistakes in person than I do online. But that's human Could- error because you're <laughs> confident in that instead of trying. clicking buttons on the computer or on your phone is still human error. No, but you can order fucking a size XL. Uh, for, I'm gonna use Fruit of Looms, a black Fruit of Looms T XL. You can get that, and then somehow, some way, one of the multiple systems that are used to go ahead and carry out your order will fuck up and give you a large instead. Okay, a kid grabbed a, a fucking item from there to here, and I saw that item that was here is up there. Now, when I go to the store, instead of being $10, it's now $14. It's still human error. You still have that at the store. Like I said, you I feel like it'll be less. People online. have. It's just a preference. I feel <laughs> it'll less likely happen if you're in person. 
congratulations on your feelings. <laughs> I just all I have to say on that one. I, well, no. I feel like it's less likely because there's less components to it of error, of possible p- possibility of error. You're talking delivery. When did that have they not fucked up? You're talking about when have you fucking ordered something with time and it still doesn't come with time? What do you mean? Yeah. I get my two day delivery prime and I yeah. get that two delivery prime. I've, I mean, I have prime too. And sometimes they take another fucking week sometimes. You or they end up taking a week so out of nowhere. But you oh, see, I all, see those those factors, but all those factors wouldn't matter if you went to go pick it up from the store. Yeah, yeah, I and disagree it's not there. Even, it's, not even the, it's, not even, it's not even just, you know what? We'll You've never this. gone it's to. Not the online, it's not the, maybe it's not even the online ordering. But it's the delivery process that fucked it up. How do you know that truck didn't flip over, you know? Or like, it's a stupid example. But I'm saying like, there's now, there's not, maybe not the online shopping portion of it, but now you're relying on the delivery of it. You get I'm me? also relying on people not to And it's more expensive. To, but it's also, <laughs> more, and it's also <laughs> generally more expensive because you're paying shipping and handling or oh, sort of fee for nice. Amazon Prime to cover that. And you're not wasting gas and time when you go over? But store? you would pay more. You just be uh, Amazon Prime is for one year one hundred thirty dollars. So okay. you you're wasting less gas going in the store in and out every however times you go. It depends. Um, one hundred thirty dollars like that. If you want play. because you said my fees. My fees are pure Amazon Prime, and that uh, that's that my shipping. All fees. shipping. I'll I'll deliver for ninety five percent. Yes, and for everything I've been ordering, Prime has covered it. No problem. Free shipping. I don't know how that works because I don't have it. So you pay zero delivering fees. Correct. Yeah. Even but if it's three dollars, no, no, I pay no, no. zero. No, no, because uh, if you don't have Prime, you have to have like a, a limit of twenty five dollars. Yeah. The benefits of Prime is you can get next day delivery. But let's say you're not. But it's not always. Orders. It's not always accurate though. And then I would say ninety eight. So you're paying of for time nothing for shipping and handling. I say more like ninety five. But least. you don't it's pay. It's still really high. Yeah. But you're not paying an additional fee for shipping and handling from no, that company. It's included with Prime. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But that's just one venue. You me? You're but, not going to shop yeah. for a Gucci shirt in Amazon Prime. Well, who I'm the also going to buy a Gucci shirt. Those things are fucking ugly. Correct. <laughs> well, I mean, that, those are all preferences you gave yeah, me. And we're course. limiting, like I said, we're and limiting ourselves. this is our a self- preference. I, I know. But I'm saying we're talking about it mainly limi- limiting ourselves to like Target and Walmart. You and know? even then you'd have to like, oh, on Amazon, like I can get all my things right here. You're like, oh, well, Walmart didn't have it. Let me go check the other Walmart. Yeah. Let me go check this Target. Up. We're here, might as well check this other store. And what if none of those have what I want? I get that. I would even argue online distracts you less when shopping. Oh, oh, maybe I do want those cookies. Oh, did you see this? Oh, oh this looks oh, kind of nice. They just got the bread out of the oven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you see the samples? The samples? Oh, maybe we should get that. Again. While online, you're just focused. Uh, sure, nah, sure, yeah, sure. Exactly. Nice, you're nice. right. You're telling me you don't get any, like, would you like to add this? How about that? You're and saying, I just you, hit cancel right away. Correct, but the opportunity, and I would just be like, no. That's more like for food. That's when you're ordering food. Are oh, you sure? You, no, no, no. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> what? You're going to call online shopping food ordering? Wait, why would it not be? I just adds another layer to it. Yeah, I wouldn't call that at all. What online shopping is not yeah, no 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 you it's can not get not groceries ordering. online. But would you say that's online shopping for groceries? Groceries, yeah. Okay. Would but you I, say I wouldn't say online shopping for food. Like at what? a restaurant like yeah. Jack in the Box? I mean groceries is food. Wait, 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 wait. No. You wouldn't oh you wouldn't call online ordering door no. you wouldn't call DoorDash shopping? No. No. How? Yeah. I I don't cause yeah, that's the stupid no, way to no, no, it. I mean, it's the same thing. You're looking at a menu. You're looking for what you want. And, and you order it and it's shipped to you. And, and so when you go to Starbucks, hi, my name is Cassie. Would you like to try our new blah, 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 blah? Exactly. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's still a purchase transaction. But they're still adding, would you like to have this? Your argument was when oh, you shop no, online. I thought you, were arguing, I thought you were arguing whether it was shopping or not. Because right now originally you're saying I ordering food. Originally was. It's, yeah, it's but you not. changed it's it right not. now, right? No, no, you because agree for, that. I, I changed it for the new example. Because you're saying only online, do they say, do you want this instead? Well, no, oh, I never person. said only. I'm saying you okay. don't no. face that through online? And you face that in person, too. I feel like you face I'm it more in person. Because no. the entirety when it comes, of the inventory is at no, your No, because in when division. you Amazon, ready, when you Amazon shop, it always says, here, this is suggested. People usually purchase these together. 
No, I, maybe because we have Prime. I don't. Yeah. Need, I don't see that at all. And that's, Is that that's, not a thing? Like I said, no. I don't order. You have to shit scroll, online. scroll down <laughs> further. Beyond. Isn't it right there? Isn't no. it right there with the item? Like, let's say Captain America shield. You find a Captain America shield, and then after that, be, well, as you scroll down to go proceed to check out, it says no because purchases are. No. It's, it's the item picture. Pull something up. I want to see. It's, I'm interested. I think it's or later. Your, it doesn't I matter. I think when it's in the yeah, cart or something, when you add it to the cart, I think there's suggestions in the bottom, but it doesn't slam it on your face. It's just kind of just suggestions yeah, the, at the bottom. The, the, but, but it happens, you, right? But there's suggestions. Not really. There's well, if you're Mister over here looking at everything, all the descriptions, you're gonna note that. Watch. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, Let me see. So let's just pull, pull up this ring, right? Can I just put something random? I already clicked something okay. random. So let's say I'm ordering this ring, right? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Whatever. Size seven. Add to cart. Oh wait, wait, wait. you went too fast because I want to see if it happens in the initial thing. Okay, so it hasn't been added to cart. So I can't see, fool. Add it to cart. And add it. Bam! Scrolling. This is what I mean. But you're looking yeah, but at the description. Of, no, but you're you looking at when the you description of the cart. ring. You the said description when of the ring is not here, bro. Though the description of the ring is right here. Okay, and and it's right in front of you too. Frequently bought together. I originally forgot what the fuck your point. <laughs> We're pointing out how you're just as much inclined and uh, tried to be upsold online than in person. No, I would say a suggestion is not upsold. Yes, it, it is. Would you like to purchase this as well? Yeah, but no. It, would you like says, to try? It in says, person. "Look, this is what people other bought." Hey, do you? Do you would you like this? And you can get. No. I feel like what? it's about an even. I feel even like it's more in person because you have the entirety of the inventory. In your field of view, I know I how many it's, times it's about the same. if you buy, for example, something a hot topic. Oh, would you like to sign up for our thing? Oh, would you like to purchase same a free thing, thing when you're ordering? If you're not purchasing, if we if we remove the Amazon Prime, does. if you're removing oh the Amazon Prime does. anywhere else, it says sign up here for rewards. Would 90, you like to proceed with it? No, percent of my shopping. When I add rewards, like you want to join for rewards yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel Domino's. like it's less pushy online though no it's even it's, more it's about, it's when it comes to food yes, yes. when it comes to food yes I'd and but i'm not counting even. that as an online shopping why would it, you not it counts though it does not <laughs> it counts i, I can't well, follow pablo, pablo pablo just so you could see how much i don't count it i have one for shopping and i have one for food it is separate to me. Whatever I could order here is just food. Whatever I could shop for is here. But you're not going like, to argue could, with me that you're are not you gonna, ordering food. Are you going to say, oh, yeah, let's go food. shopping, and then you end up <laughs> solely going to McDonald's? At the mall. No, not exactly. Not solely, but definitely be going somewhere. Yeah, but online ordering food online would be solely ordering food online yeah yeah you're not getting a shirt with that you know yeah, yeah but you're not, you're not gonna, getting you're, your you're eggs and milk you're not that. saying that you're not gonna look through something you're not shopping i i think it's not fair to say you know regardless of it regardless of anything i don't understand if the thing was phone sh computer shopping versus in person let's shopping. ask them because you know <laughs> let's ask them let's ask them if they uh, consider yeah, online yeah, yeah. shopping for food as well that is a good question do you consider online shopping uh Ordering food online too, or just exclusive shopping? But let us know for all these uh, themes or battles. Whether you prefer to go versus dining, morning bird versus night owl, traveling versus staying at home, procrastination versus procrastination, mm -hmm. and in store versus online shopping. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy, and want to see more, make sure to hit that drop like. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Mark, what is your Instagram? For sure. Uh, feel free to follow me over at Mr. Movie underscore Fangor. I wish I heard you since your mouth was so away from the fucking microphone. Mr. Movie underscore Fangor. There we go. Uh, link will be down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Later. Uh -huh.